Hello, good morning, students. Today we will discuss the very exciting and very interesting ending part of the lesson. This is visualizing the nation. Up to yesterday, we have discussed unification of various countries, how countries became unified into a single nation, how countries established themselves as a nation state. Okay, and express and realize that they are the citizen of the country. So in this way, the uh, liberal uh, nationalists and liberal revolutionaries they establish their countries as nation state. And behind the story and history of nation state, there was long and bitter struggle. Okay, which they waged from long time. And therefore, they completed the process of unification. But now, it is uh, we we also discussed that there were various types of kings and monarchs which were ruling on the European countries. Most of the power of political, social, and cultural was in the hands of monarchs or kings. Some monarchs and kings were very were very very intellectual, and they were ruled with democratic ways. Their democratic ways paved the way for the development in all fields of life of various countries. These democratic ways, okay, were very essential to inculcate the democratic habits and democratic spirits among the people and in the country. Therefore, such kings and rulers were remembered for a long period of time, even today. Their rule. And their uh, ideologies and their qualities are still remembered in many countries of the world. Therefore, such uh, yeah, statues, uh, such kings and monarchs were uh, uh, easily remembered because their rule was very uh, good. Okay, their rule was very democratic way. You know that kings and monarchs can be uh, uh, their statues can be erected and can be installed in the public place. To remind their rule and their ideology for many people to inspire and to move towards the development of country. So it is possible. So we can easily, this country can easily erect or create the statues of kings and monarchs and can install in the public places. Okay, to remind many people and to remind their efforts. Okay, for the sake of country, for making the country's development. But you know that we can. We, how can we give the face to the nation? How can we identify nation in which form? This is impossible sometimes. Okay, but you know that in uh, the, the artists in the 18th and 19th century, they gave one face to the nation to identify that this nation is independent, to identify that this nation is free from all bondage and all uh, foreign powers. And this the, to identify that this particular country is an independent nation state. Okay, therefore, many artists in 18th and 19th century they use female figure, they use female figure, okay, to portray the nation, to depict the nation. Many artists of 18th and 19th century they use female figure or female form. And the entire nation or entire independent country was depicted in the form of image. Like we already discussed in the uh, what uh, nationalism in India, that uh, image of Bharat Mata was first created okay, by Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay and painted by Abhinandana Tagore. So in this way, various countries, they, their artists, they use female form or female figure okay, to depict the nation. That this is the particular nation. This is the particular shape of the nation. Okay, it, it does not mean that particular woman in real life, keep in mind, the particular woman in real life he, uh, was not there in the female form, but it was an abstract idea. Abstract idea, okay was used in various symbols to depict the nation. This is called female allegory of the nation. Allegory of the nation means when an abstract idea 
are expressed or portrayed in the uh, various symbols, okay, then this is called allegory of the nation. So many artists in various countries, including France, Germany, okay, and uh, Italy, and then Britain, okay, where female figure was used to portray the nation. Again, I would like to give example to understand this concept that in India, okay, when th there was foreign attack or foreign powers, uh, British Empire was ruling in India, that time many Indians, okay, and painters and artists, okay, they used India's female figure, okay, as uh, the depiction of the nation. Okay, for example, Bharat Mata, you already uh, uh, know about the Bharat Mata, the symbol of Bharat Mata, the image of Bharat Mata. This image of Bharat Mata is used in various movements and campaigns in the country, okay, against the British government to uh, inspire many people, okay, for the sake of the motherland. Because why, why artists use female figure only to depict their nation? Because female, that is, it is, it is, it, it is used as mother. Okay, because most of us, we are very close to our mother. We usually express and share everything to our mother. Even whatever you do, the wrong things sometimes, not all times wrong things, okay, but whenever you do uh, some mistaken things, okay, that time your mother convinces you and try to love more and more, okay, and such type of mother's love, okay, to express this mother's love, many artists use female figure as the allegory of the nation to depict and portray the idea of nation state. Okay, because if there is any attack on our motherland, then people can inspire and can motivate, okay, to free that motherland from foreign powers and foreign attacks. So this is what uh, in, uh, in the, the history of Europe, okay, Europe and European countries, many artists also use female figure to depict the nation. This image of Bharat Mata like image which is having four hands, okay. This image of Bharat Mata, okay, is called the allegory of the India. It is used, uh, it is used to depict the India's culture and India's, uh, India's uh, distinct culture and qualities. So in this way, this abstract idea was expressed to a concrete form, okay, which is known as allegory of the nation. In this way, many nations were depicted through the female figure, okay, and female figure is used as allegory of the nation. If we discuss about the French society and in the French Revolution, okay, many female figures were also used to depict the nation. Okay, for example, uh, female allegory was also used in the France, okay, during the French Revolution, uh, which symbolized liberty, justice, and republic. Liberty, justice, and republic. These were these abstract idea were expressed in the female form, okay, or through various symbols. For example, red cap, red cap, or broken chain was the symbol of liberty. Liberty is an abstract idea. Liberty, honesty, greed, okay, justice, uh, fraternity. These are abstract idea, and when these abstract idea are expressed through various symbols. Okay, then this is called allegory of the nation. So, red cap or broken chain in, during the French Revolution symbolizes liberty. Okay, broken chain means broken chain means the chain is now broken into number of pieces, means there are no shackles of any dominance or hegemony. Okay, but now chain has broken into number of pieces and the things or the people are now free to do whatever they like. So in this way, broken chain symbolizes liberty. In the similar way, blindfolded woman carrying a pair of weighing scale. Blindfolded woman carrying a pair of weighing scale is a symbol of justice. Is a symbol of justice. Because whenever you see in the court, okay, in the court district to a Supreme Court, you will find one of the symbol, one woman, okay, uh, who is blindfolded. Okay, who is blindfolded, who is carrying a pair of weighing scale and the weighing, two weighing scales are the parallel. 
okay one weighing scale is not uh, at higher level or another which is not at the lower level but both the uh, weighing scales are at the same level they are parallel which shows that justice is blindfolded okay justice uh, justice is one of the important abstract idea where blindfolded woman carrying a pair of weighing scale okay is expressed so in this way during the french revolution various female figures were used to uh, express various abstract ideas to inspire and motivate many liberal nationalists to establish democratic state and to establish democratic principles and ideology for entire country okay during the french revolution marian marian keep in mind marian which was a popular christian name marian 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 was a popular christian name this marian was used okay to personify the idea of nation even marian was used like bharat mata in india keep in mind marian was used as uh, the allegory of the nation to personify the nation as bharat mata was used in india to uh, as the allegory of the nation okay in this way marian which was which is a popular christian name used to personify personify the nation okay even the statues of marian were erected in public places to inspire many people okay and to remind that this is our motherland this is our motherland of france even uh, this the statues of marian was used as the national symbol of unity okay statues of marian in the public square and public places were used as the national symbol of unity so in this way marian was a female figure which used widely during the french revolution to establish france as a nation state okay to establish france as a nation state marian was widely used for example bharat mata image was widely used during swadeshi movement in kolkata during swadeshi movement in west bengal and many other places in the country in this way many artists in different countries they use female figure okay to personify the nation to uh, express the idea of nation state into female form okay even the images of marian the images of marian during the french revolution they are also marked on coins and stamps stamps okay that uh, we usually see uh, stamps okay in the uh, official uh, government official institutions okay these type of stamps and even in the post postal stamps so her images marian images were marked on the coins and stamps because stamps is the something which is widely used by the people and coins are everyday used things and everyday usable items so by exchanging and uh, transferring coins to number of hands of the people of the country people can remind that this is our motherland and people can motivate and inspire very much okay for the development and for making the france as nation state okay so in this way keep in mind during the french revolution marian was used as the female figure to depict the idea of nation state okay in the similar way in germany as we discussed the unification of germany in germany many artists they use female figure to depict the nation for example germania 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 was used okay it is it is it was it was a female figure Germ germania was used as the female figure okay it was an allegory of the german nation so why germania used as female figure because germania wears a crown of oak leaves oak is a tree okay oak is a tree so these oak trees leaves okay the uh, the crown she germania wears a crown of oak leaves and oak leaves in german state symbolizes or oak leaves in german state stands for german heroism german heroism heroism is what it are, these are the some qualities okay which uh, represent the hero hero is leader right hero is a type of leader hero is something which lead the particular country's uh, movement okay hero is uh, hero is something which is uh, very supreme qualities and divine qualities 
hero is something which usually considered a right person to take all the people on the right path so this type of heroism qualities okay uh, usually oak leaves had in germany so therefore germania who wears crown of oak leaves okay and in germany oak leaves stands for heroism so therefore germania was also widely used as the uh, female figure okay to depict the nation of germany so in this way visualizing the nation title says that how the nation was visualized how the nation was represented how the nation was depicted okay that india is depicted through bharat mata france was depicted through meriam and germany was depicted through germany in this way there were various countries where uh, these female figures were used as a allegory of the nation to visualize the nation to identify the nation and to represent the nation in different forms okay so these are various things okay various uh, uh, female figures that were represented the country's idea the country's ideology and country's nation state so dear students i hope you have understood this particular part of visualizing the nation very well okay uh, in the next video we will continue the ending part which is most important part of the lesson so uh, once again you read this part of the lesson okay from textbook and get the concept clear about visualizing the nation thank you so much